Have you ever wondered how today's cutting-edge EFI tuners are made? We travel to Diablo Sports Tuning in Boca Raton, Florida to find out. On this segment, we're going to show you how Diablo's Predator tuners are designed, developed, and produced. From R&D to final production, you'll get an exclusive look at the making of the Predator on a Dodge SRT8 Hemi. Diablo Sport has been in the game since the beginning. After getting an early start as one of the pioneers in Mustang tuning, Diablo's products are now popular on everyday streetcars, GMLS1 vehicles, and even turbocharged diesel trucks. This tour starts where Diablo Sport's tuning ideas are conceived. Here at Diablo Sport in our R&D and tech department, the first step in creating a new tool or Predator would be to actually start with the PCM from the vehicle, in this case like the Hemi or the SRT8 vehicles. We'll start working with it on the bench using the factory tools to determine the reading and writing process. Once we've determined that process, we'll develop our own bullet, put it into our hardware, and actually test our own read and write process on the bench. Part of that testing procedure includes making sure that we can always recover the stock tune. You always have the ability to put the stock tune back on the PCM in any event. What we'll do at that point is then move out into the community and find some local customers that are willing to let us use their vehicle in the beta test procedure. We uh, arrange with those customers. They come in, drop a vehicle off for us. We give them a loaner vehicle to drive around with for a couple days. And uh, we start testing on their vehicle, move to the dyno, and the tuners take over and go from there. Once on the dyno, our calibrations team will begin to adjust the vehicle's parameters in order to maximize vehicle horsepower, torque, and overall performance. Once satisfied with our dyno results, we then move our vehicle to the street for road testing. Road testing is to ensure that all of our tunes are safe for real world conditions. Once on the road, our calibrations team can begin to adjust parameters in order to maximize fuel economy, vehicle efficiency, and overall drivability. After the final Diablo Sport calibration files are developed, the EFI tune is sent to Diablo Sport's manufacturing facility. Here, Diablo manufactures all the circuit boards in-house with laser-guided processing machines. The boards start with a layer of solder paste, then they're loaded into the processing machine where six heads work simultaneously to build the boards at speeds up to 20,000 components per hour. After the boards are finished, they are visually inspected before they go into a heater. The boards are progressively heated to their cure temperature before receiving any final soldering and going through the inspection. The Predator circuit boards are then tested with their LCD screens to make sure they're properly assembled. The only thing left to make them look like the Predator you recognize is the plastic Diablo Sport chassis and the OBD cables that you'll use to import the tune into your car. Finally, the completed Predator goes to programming to have the vehicle's specific programs loaded. When you buy a Predator, it will be already pre-programmed and set up for your car or truck. Everything at Diablo Sport is manufactured in the United States, from the sticker in the box to the Predator board itself. We showed you how the Predator is made, now let's show you how to install a tune. Simply turn the key to the on position and plug your Predator into the OBD2 port. Simply select the pre-programmed or custom tune that you want to install and the Predator will store your factory tune-up inside on its memory board. Once the tuner is finished programming, you can disconnect the Predator and get ready to drive or dyno your car. The SRT8 picked up 25 horsepower on Diablo's dyno through slightly leaning the fuel mixture and adding more timing. Not a bad power gain for a five minute installation and dyno test.